We began hosting it at UND in 2010. The students come on Thursday and set up their projects, and all day Friday they are here to be judged. Approximately 192 students here today, and there's approximately 150 judges. <laughs> it's always funny whenever a judge walks by, you can see everybody turn, you know, maybe is it, is it my turn? Or <laughs> Sitting and waiting for your first judge is probably the most nerve-wracking because you don't know what to expect, and your mind kind of goes blank when they come up and shake your hand. But after the first judge, it's kind of just like an easy talking process. It gets easier as the day goes on. The students are judged on categories that are STEM fields. So it's science, technology, engineering, and math. There's medicine, there's nursing, there's physics, chemistry, biology, anthropology for forensic science. They usually ask me what I want to do next to my project or what I found interesting or who helped me with my project, if I had any help. The goal is to attract uh, people, boys and girls, at very young age to science and engineering. Uh, and the science fair is step number one, I think. So the imp important message here is science and engineering are important to address those major challenges that are facing humanity at large. And uh, by participating here, this is just one step toward preparing our kids and the new generations to be able to address those challenges in the future. I think the main thing that UND gets from having the fair here is on Thursday when we take the students out to the departments and have them do activities in the labs. It helps them define more specifically what career they might be interested in and whether or not they come to UND, that's an important aspect is that they can see the various careers that they have to choose from.